So if you guys remember, um, previously we talked about that we had restrictions between 0 and 2 pi. That means I wanted to find that all the angles that were within that restriction, all the solutions that were within that restriction, which is basically that restriction basically is just the unit circle, right? Finding all the solutions on the unit circle. However, now for the problems, I don't know, what is it? 57 through 62, now they're saying find all the solutions. Well, remember, what about the sine graph, right? Remember sine. The sine graph, is there only answers between 0 and 2 pi? No, there's infinite many answers, right? This continues on and on and on and on. So what we're going to do, though, is, Andrew, we're going to find the answers. And then, just like if you guys remember writing the asymptotes, we're going to write, any, we're going to write our solutions in terms of its coterminal angles, like we did before. But the main important thing is finding the solutions between 0 and 2 pi first. So we're going to solve these problems just like we did before. So. First thing, typically we would solve this by you know, getting, isolating our variable. Well, in this case, we have two of our variables. And we can't really isolate them like we did in the last example. So therefore, I'm going to do like what I did in the first and um, one of the ones before, is I'm going to look into factoring. I see here, I can factor out a sine of x, or sine of theta. Does everybody agree with me? It was sine squared of theta. Okay, Now I have the product of an expression, of two expressions, equal to 0. Now I can apply the 0 product property, correct? OK. So I could say sine of theta equals 0, and sine of theta minus 1 equals 0. Then obviously go ahead and solve. So. Now I'm looking for what angles when sine is equal to 1, as well as what angles is when sine is equal to 0. Well, fortunately, we're not dealing with actually the angles where it's like 1 half and square root of 2 over 2. We're dealing with some fairly basic. And we're not dealing with the plus or minuses anymore either, right? So when we have sine is equal to 0, remember sine represents the, sine represents the what coordinate? Y coordinate. So what angle is when sine is equal to 0? When does sine equal 0? What angle is this? 0 or 2 pi, but 2 pi is not, well, it's not included. So we're just going to do theta equals 0. And then for what angle does sine equal 1? Right, 90 degrees. In radians, though, that's going to be? Pi over 2. Pi over 2. Okay. Now, here's where it kind of gets a little confusing, but we've already kind of covered this a little bit, so I'll, I feel much more confident than I ever have. All right, so we have two answers. We basically have this angle, and we have that angle, correct? Mm -hmm. However, they're not saying just tell us what the angles are between 0 and 2 pi. They're saying find all the angles. So let's talk about this one first, pi halves. If I want to find another solution, all I need to do is find another coterminal angle, right? So I need to basically do what? I need to add, how far do I go around? 2 pi. Two pi. And then how many times can I keep on adding 2 pi to keep on getting a, a solution? Infinite. n, right? Which we just use the variable n, which would be infinite. Here, I can do the same thing, plus 2 pi n. The reason why I did this one last is because does it really matter, to, do we really write does it make sense to do 0 plus 2 pi n? We don't really need to include 0, right? We could just say theta is equal to 2 pi n. Because what about when n is 0? What is the angle? When is n is 0, what is the angle? 0, right? So that satisfies it. But, um, so when you have a restriction between 0 and, when you guys have a restriction between 0 and 2 pi, um, just list the angle.